Dividing decimals by whole number. Ram went to a shop and bought four pence for rupees thirty-five point five zero. He wanted to know the price of each pen. He will divide rupees thirty-five point five zero by five to know the price of each pen. This is division of a decimal by a whole number. The rules to divide a decimal by a whole number are: one, divide the numbers ignoring the decimal point; two, when you reach the tenth digit, place the decimal in the quotient. Let us see some examples to understand this concept better. Example: solve. Hundred point four divided by twenty five. Solution. Step one. First, let us divide hundred by twenty five. The quotient is four. Step two. We have reached the tenth place, so place a decimal point in the quotient here. Now take four down. Four is not divisible by twenty five. As it is smaller than twenty-five, so put a zero in the quotient, since we know that four is not a multiple of twenty-five. Step three: put zero till the division is complete. Forty divided by twenty-five gives quotient as one, and fifteen as remainder. Step four: add a zero to fifteen, and make it one fifty. One fifty divided by twenty-five gives six as quotient, and zero as remainder. Step five: the quotient is four point zero one six, and remainder is zero. Verifying the answer. In division, we already know to verify the answer. It is the same when it comes to decimals too. To check. We use this rule. Dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. In our problem, quotient is equal to four point zero one six. Remainder is equal to zero. Divisor is equal to twenty five, and dividend is equal to hundred point four. Putting all these values in the rule, we get. Hundred point four is equal to twenty five into four point zero one six plus zero is equal to hundred point four. Since LHS is equal to RHS, so the division we performed is correct. Dividing a decimal number lesser than the dividend. Example: Find one point two divided by twenty five. Solution. Step one: Take one first, not divisible by twenty-five, as one is less than twenty-five. So put a zero and a decimal point. Step two: Now take twelve. Twelve is less than twenty-five, so add a zero in the quotient, and add a zero in the dividend too. Step three. Now divide one twenty by twenty-five. The quotient is four, and the remainder is twenty. Step four: add a zero to twenty and make it two hundred. Divide two hundred by twenty-five, which gives eight as quotient and zero as remainder. The quotient is zero point zero four eight, and the remainder. Is zero. Verifying the answer. To check, we use the rule: dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Putting all the values in the rule, we get one point two zero is equal to twenty five into zero point zero four eight plus zero is equal to one point two zero. Since LHS is equal to RHS, so the division we performed is correct. Dividing a decimal by another decimal. Rules: One, 
count the number of decimal digits in the divisor. 2. Move the decimal in dividend that many places to the right. 3. Write the divisor without the decimal. 4. Now, divide the numbers as usual. With these rules in mind, let us solve some division sums. Example 1. 8.005 divided by 0 0.05 Solution 8.005 divided by 0 0.05 Step 1 Count the number of decimal digits in the divisor. Step 2 Move the decimal in dividend that many places to the right. So, now the division problem becomes 800.5 divided by 5. Step 3. Write the divisor without the decimal. Now divide the numbers as usual. Step 4. Divide 8 by 5. Quotient is 1 and remainder is 3. Step 5. Bring down 0 and make 3 as 30. 30 divided by 5 gives 6 as the quotient and 0 as the remainder. Step 6. There is a 0 in the dividend, so add a 0 in the quotient too. Step 7. We have reached the tenths place, so place a decimal point. Step 8. Now divide 5 by 5 and the quotient is 1. The remainder is 0. Therefore, 8.005 divided by 0 0.05 is equal to 160.1. Remember, 1. Always convert the divisor into a whole number while dividing a decimal by another decimal. 2. Sometimes we may need to multiply the divisor by 10, 100, or thousand. Try to do this mentally. Word problems in division of decimals. Example 1. Two baskets weigh 4.8 kg. What is the weight of each basket? Solution. Weight of two baskets is equal to 4.8 kg. Weight of one basket is equal to 4.8 divided by 2. Step 1. First, divide 4 by 2. The quotient is 2 and the remainder is 0. Step 2. Break down 8. Now we are in the 10th place. So, put a decimal point and divide 8 by 2. The quotient is 4 and remainder is 0. Step 3. So, the weight of each basket is 2.4 kg.